Jazz Kin Ho and a friend decide to open a deep web box in a public place just in case they need to quickly get help. A short while later, they find this religious necklace, almost as if it was placed there to ward off evil. Next is a series of old photographs with X's over them. It's like they've been hunted or something, and then crossed out one by one. People crossed out. Whoever this is crossed out. A baby. I'm curious as to what this device is used for. It looks similar to something I've seen people in other videos use to communicate with spirits. Then again, it kind of looks like it could even be used to measure radiation. Jammed inside of a glass bottle is a baby doll that's covered in all red. Its head is busted open, and inside of the red gelatinous substance is a key for a box. Okay, I'm gonna open this quick because I do... Inside this box, there's a dead spider. There's three teeth and 10 cents. Um, enough's enough with that. I'm closing that and I'm locking that back up. If this box is real, then I think whoever sent it has a real penchant for children's belongings. Perhaps everything in the box was taken from the sender's own personal collection. A man is videotaping an abandoned home from above when he catches what could be something paranormal as it dashes away. A misty black cloud snakes along the wall and trails off into the abandoned house, veering out of sight. The cameraman zooms in for a better look but finds nothing. I think this appears to be CGI, but the way the cameraman behaves makes me think that it could be real. He stays focused on the spot for a little bit, then draws back and studies the entire area for more activity. He doesn't immediately stop recording like most videos. Sometimes anger comes in the form of a crazy woman guarding her property. For YouTuber Jack Z in May of 2018, this was the case. Jack explains that he and his friends were riding along a trail they'd never explored. It led to a stranger's property, but it wasn't clear that they were on private property, as there weren't signs or fences around it. And in the video, it really doesn't appear private. It looks like a forest, a free-for-all. According to Jack, as they were heading out, a woman came out of nowhere and started confronting them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, get off! I'm sick and tired of you, bull! I'm the first on one my here. property! Bull! You guys are here all the time, no, scared of my horses! Grabbing hold of Jack's backpack to throw him off balance, which led him to busting his brake on a downed tree that was in front of him. As he climbs out from under his bike, she can be heard screaming at his friends as well. She then gets in his face, saying that him and his friends are there every weekend on her private property, scaring her horses. Jack writes, Moral of the story is to be careful of what trails you choose to follow. It seems to me that this chilling event was just one big misunderstanding, and I hope this woman doesn't choose to act this way in similar future situations. A paranormal YouTube channel called Shamos goes exploring an abandoned house where a phantom spirit is said to reside. The ghost of a child, to be exact. It isn't long before their K2 ghost meter is swirling with paranormal activity. The signal continues to grow stronger as they head towards the house. That's when they see it, a mysterious figure in the distance. Translate if you can. I ran this next part through a Google Translator and this is what it said. As they get closer, they realize the ghost child has no face. He says that the ghost has no face, but it is too far away to see anyone's face. I really don't know why he would get that close without taking the camera with him. So while this is definitely a creepy video, it's probably also fake. The International Space Station is a floating research base built by NASA that orbits around the world. This footage was taken from cameras on the outside, and it has led many people to believe that NASA accidentally live-streamed alien contact on television. Everything looks normal when all of a sudden, a small number of UFOs casually travel from right to left across the screen. 
Stranger still is how NASA suddenly cuts away to a wide shot of the mission control room when this happens. They later claimed that the UFOs were ice particles, but perhaps there is another explanation. A YouTuber named IN7 and a large group of friends decide to investigate an abandoned home for some possible paranormal activity. They didn't find anything that strange on the first floor, aside from some mattresses, so they decide to go up a flight of rickety steps that looks far from safe. Uh, you got off. And, uh, on my some laughter stops them in their tracks. They start to run, but then find confidence in numbers and decide to keep going anyway. When they get to the top floor, they find more mattresses. One of the mattresses has a human-looking figure on it with black sheets pulled above the head. Suddenly, some other kids rejoin the group to warn them of more people. I need I just keep they hear laughter again and bolt down the steps, out of the house. The laughter sounds distant yet somehow all around them. If it's not editing, then it's definitely paranormal. The group will never know if the person laying on the mattress was just sleeping or not alive. They could have stumbled upon some ritual sacrifice for all we know. Empty roads at night can be quite sinister, especially when this happens. Posted to TikTok, Leslie Alexis writes that she and her sister went out to get ICs at 2.30 in the morning. When they arrived at the first stoplight on the way out of their neighborhood, it was green, but the white truck waiting at the light didn't budge. The pair beeped, but it still didn't move. They eventually went around. They went and got their ICs and returned home. On their way back, the car was still sitting at the light. They passed it, pulled a Yui, and drove by again, trying to see if there was anyone inside, but the windows were too tinted. Some in the comments were worried the driver might have had a medical emergency. Others think that they just fell asleep or passed out at the wheel. In part 2 of the video series, Leslie explains that they returned home and told their mom, and she drove them back to the stoplight. Once there, the car was gone. It was 3 a.m. Coincidence? Maybe. But it makes you wonder what exactly happened here. Strange people can appear at any time in any place. A YouTuber named Will posted a series of Snapchat stories dealing with one such person who surprised a trio of friends in October 2015. According to the camera operator, a random woman knocked on the door, walked right in when he answered, and locked herself in the bathroom. The confused group were unsure what to do at first, but eventually called the police. The responding officer spent some time attempting to unlock the door from the outside, all the while receiving no response from the individual. By the time they managed to get in, the woman is passed out on the bathroom floor. Soon the fire department and paramedics arrive to assess the woman. The entire ordeal, while definitely bizarre, ends up being one the group and the first responders won't forget anytime soon. The woman was clearly not in the right state of mind and confused, needing medical attention. Thankfully, her face is not shown in the clips, as it is easy to imagine how embarrassing this would be to see when she recovered. On another note, for the trio in the house, it is lucky this home invader wasn't there to cause any harm to them. They were lucky to not have been visited by more vicious home invaders who are there to take things or possibly people. But I sincerely hope the woman received the care she needed and continues to have anonymity. Communicating with the spirit world using candlelight is an old trick. The secret is to watch the flame to tell if a ghost is making it flicker or otherwise move differently. But if the candle starts doing this, the ghost is not even hinting anymore. Alright, so some strange activity is caught on camera when a candle moves on its own across the table. But look closely and you'll see the table looks to have been polished recently. The surface is very clean and reflective. Perhaps whatever cleaning agent he used on the table reduced the friction enough to make this object look like it was moved by a ghost. Or maybe I'm rationalizing a strange event because I'm scared and this is a real ghost pushing an object across a clean table. A psychic is attempting to predict the weather on live television when something strange happens behind her. Yo creo que para las ciudades que antes no nevaba, va a empezar a nevar. Monterrey, 
Saltillo hoy. Hay muchachos, sal, ¿verdad? De las energías sí, que vienen de sí. Los Ángeles. Que están... A portion of the stage that's directly behind her collapses in the middle of her prediction. I don't know what she is saying for sure, but I can read that she was predicting the weather and also talking about angels just moments prior to this occurrence. Can somebody please tell me exactly what she was saying right before this happened? A translation might provide us with more clues. If she really was talking about angels, fell down immediately after, then I have to admit that it is a strange coincidence at the very least. A YouTuber named Guy receives a deep web mystery box with a pile of old electronics inside. He notices an outdated cassette player with headphones, so he puts them on and hears a woman saying the same thing over and over again in a different language. Listen to this part and let me know if you can translate. <laughs> Something about the woman's tone sounds menacing to me, almost as if she is making a twisted prediction. If you speak the language, please let me know if I am right. A strange sighting over the sky in Ireland was posted on October 5th of 2011, and the creepy mysterious things found in this footage cannot be explained to this day. The strange objects have a weird vapor trailing behind them and they seem to be falling to the ground at a slow rate of speed. Somebody said these lights could be flares and I wanted to get your opinion of if you think that's the case or not. I don't see or hear any aircraft that could have deployed them, so I have no idea what to make of these strange lights from above. A live broadcast in Detroit, Michigan captures a bouncing creature in the forest background. Hey, Glenda, good afternoon to you. Uh, yeah, this guy had no respect for the judge, obviously, and prosecutors say no respect. I thought that it might be some kind of fox hopping through the grass, but this humanoid creature almost looks like it's running back into the forest, away from sight. Let me know what kind of animal you think this could be, especially if you live in Detroit, and tell me if this is what it looks like when a fox is traveling through tall grass, because that's my best guess. A YouTuber named Nugget Noggin is exploring an old abandoned home one evening somewhere in the deep south. He's been here only once before, and it gave him such a strange and foreboding feeling that he couldn't take it anymore and he had to leave. Now he's mustered up enough courage to come back and check out the rest of the house. He wants to get up to the second floor. Alright, so I got this little door here to keep the air from rising up. I reckon, I don't know. Could be somebody up there. Oh man, somebody's standing on it. Cause I sure can't lift it up. Much to his dismay, he finds a door has been laid over the top of the stairway so that nobody can get through. He tries to push on the horizontal door. One moment, it feels as if a heavy force is standing on top of it, and the next moment, the weight is suddenly gone and Nugget Noggin can get upstairs. Some rooms give him the same weird feeling that made him flee before. He remembers that the front door was kicked in. Possibly someone broke in. Maybe a family was living here long Long ago, and things did not end well for them. Won't be able to sleep. Look, there's a light on in there. That's odd. There's a mirror. You know what time it is. Nugget Noggin doesn't find much else in leaves. When he's reviewing the footage, however, he does notice what could be the face of a small girl. Take a look at this picture and tell me if it looks like anything paranormal to you. A woman calls into a show to talk about spiritual possession. She is in the middle of her story when suddenly something grabs hold of her mid-sentence and takes over. Also, um... Did anyone else hear a really deep voice say something at the end of that clip? Anyway, she regains her composure and manages to speak a few more sentences. She says that she has been cursed by somebody who is very powerful, but it is hard to understand her because she is clearly upset. The host is trying to get some more information when suddenly the spirit appears to take over once again. Who created you and why?
huh? To speak or to go to court. <laughs> The poor woman's condition just seems to be getting worse and worse as the conversation carries on. Finally, the host sees that there is little reason to continue speaking with her and hangs up. Also, when people... What happened to her afterwards is anyone's guess. It's difficult to tell if this video is real without being able to see the caller's face. The full clip is about 7 minutes long, and most of it does not make much sense because of her panic. I guess it could be a fake call, or maybe the caller is on something. Otherwise, I think she could really be possessed. A synagogue in Ukraine captured something absolutely creepy and mysterious. A brilliant ball of light floating ominously near the synagogue wall. The authentic video shows the ball of light floating down to hover, swaying back and forth slightly in one place. It stays there for a moment, glowing its mystery until it flies upward again disappearing forevermore. The ball of light isn't a perfectly circular orb. In fact, it looks almost gelatinous as its shape changes slightly in its hovering, with protuberances bulging slightly here and there. So what is this light? What could it be? Scientists are baffled and can't seem to find any explanation for it, leaving explanations up to popular opinion. These opinions range from a lightning ball to a reflection of infrared light to someone's very soul. Jewish people were ordered to gather here before they were sent off to camps in WW2, so the possibility of it being someone's soul looks promising. I wouldn't be surprised if souls abounded here. The truth is, we'll likely never know what was the source of this light, and we probably weren't meant to know. The Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana has been named one of the most haunted places in America. As Vanessa Bolano was doing a news report on ABC, something strange flies past her in the background. Twelve spirits supposedly live here, but the owners say they're all haunted friendly. room in the most haunted house in America. Pretty crazy. Tune in for the full story. On this small white specter moves extremely fast and doesn't appear to be a piece of dust or any kind of light reflection. Beyond that, I find it an extremely strange coincidence that she happens to be talking about the 12 spirits shortly before this takes place. I guess they could have edited this in for ratings, but given the reputation of this area, I think it could very well be paranormal. This video is all the more reason not to work from home. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Big Bo One Jord explains that a friend sent him this clip after he kept hearing things in the middle of the night. He started taking video to catch some evidence of the noise's source. In the video, the friend walks out into the hallway from his bedroom. As he nears his office, something very clearly moves out of view, but it's not clear what that something is. A redditor who goes by the username Captain Fatbelly recommends viewers to turn up the brightness on the video. He writes, It definitely looks like a person. I worry about the chance there might actually be somebody lurking around in your friend's house. Other redditors agree that it looks like a person. Well, Scary Ninja Gamer says, Your friend is screwed. We'd have to agree. This live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed, but I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. Residents in Tallahassee, Florida feared for their lives when this strange and haunting sound echoed throughout their area for over 20 minutes. It's not back that way, it's up in this corner. Don't go out there. There's little doubt that this video is real, as you can hear the fear in the family's voices. I get the kids in the back. I hear the wind. Get the kids in the back. Get in the bathroom. Get. 
I thought it was a tornado, but the person in the video doesn't. They called 911 and learned that police were apparently flooded with concerned complaints about the noise. The person who recorded this footage says that the local news was told to report this as an airplane. This doesn't really sound like an airplane to me. There's one other strange occurrence, a sudden flash of lightning that instantly makes the noise disappear. I've never been in a tornado before, so I can't say if this video looks normal or not. I'm especially looking for opinions from people who have been in one. Do you agree with the uploader that this could have been something more than a tornado, like a government weather experiment? This video was streamed live from Telemark, Norway. A YouTuber named Odins2 sees a gigantic disturbance in the water, so he pulls over and starts recording. This is what he sees. It starts out as a long and skinny, shimmering mass, but after a while it really starts to take form, especially in the center, possibly as the monster rises very close to the surface. Since there are no boats nearby and the water is mostly calm, many people suspect that this is a famous legendary sea serpent named Seljord, which is Norwegian for Selma. It's kind of like Norway's version of the Loch Ness Monster. I guess it could just be fishing nets or a long string of garbage instead, but it's hard to tell for certain. Maybe someone out there with fishing experience can let me know if it looks like any of those things. October of 2017 is when a Canadian YouTuber named Moosey started to experience supernatural problems in his home that were far from normal. Things like spirit sightings and hearing voices, Something is in his house with him, something he can't see and wants gone. One afternoon, Moosey is playing a PS4 game with his brother when the television starts acting up in a way that's been happening far too often lately. And it's really weird, like, he's been telling me it's been happening all day. Somebody could have simply turned it off with a remote. His brother Joe isn't holding the remote, but maybe Moosey is. I don't think it was either one of them though, because it looks like somebody unplugged the television, even though they were both across the room. Guys, what the f This is what I'm seeing! Disconnected again! What's going on? And when you look again at 4 minutes and 23 seconds, you might be able to see the faintest orb go by his wrist. Since this was made in October, I was thinking maybe this was a Halloween video or something like that, but Moosey's paranormal problems continued well into November. That's when it moved into his room. He claims he can no longer sleep because it feels as if something is watching over him. Guys, I don't know what's going on. There's just something preventing me. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, there are bags under his eyes that were not visible in the previous video from a week ago, so I see no reason not to believe what he says. I, I was as tired as I get, you know, you can see bag, bags under my eyes because I get really tired of my health. After days of no sleep, he now has a plan to cleanse the room. Moosey blends a special root with various household ingredients to make a powdery substance that is believed to keep spirits away. Interestingly enough, the sound on his camera cuts out and this orb appears just outside of his room, so perhaps there is some value in what he's about to do after all. I think it's interesting how the sound cuts off again here, almost like the spirits don't want to hear him finish what he has to say. Demons, be gone. Or it could have just been a technical problem uploading the video to YouTube. Anyway, after completing the exorcism, he waits until 3am before declaring everything is okay. He didn't wait long enough though. This is what happens 5 minutes after 3am. Free me from all this- oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you guys hear that? I really wish he would have thrown open the door here, so we could have seen for ourselves what was on the other side. 
The fact that he waits for almost a full minute makes me wonder if this really was his nerves betraying him or just stalling to give his friends time to get off camera. Nothing is in the other room, but if he wanted to prove beyond a doubt that his house was haunted, he should have swallowed his fear and opened the door a bit sooner. Easier said than done, I guess. Moosey did eventually move two years later. He and Hype Mike are giving a tour of their new house when it becomes apparent that his paranormal troubles are far from over. <laughs> Jesse, Mike. Nick. Whoa! The knocking comes from behind him, yet no one is at the door. However, in the mirror stands a small hooded figure. Or maybe it's just the top of Hype Mike's hat. When they check the camera, the picture becomes garbled by what I suspect is paranormal energy from the same ghost as before. It's found their new address and it wants in. At 8 minutes and 27 seconds, they catch a glimpse of someone running up the stairs. Then they see it in a different monitor right outside of their door before the screen goes white. And that's when what happens in Moosey's old house at 3am repeats itself. The door is somehow locks even though they're on the side with a lock on it. So that's either paranormal or just an oversight in their skit, but I was kind of let down when they show it. I'm sorry, but I absolutely refuse to believe that this person in an all black spandex outfit is a ghost. So I'm not exactly buying this one, but it doesn't mean that the videos in his old house weren't real or that this wasn't a crazy fan who got their address. This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals for instance. In the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. Ow. Mm -hmm. Ow. No, no. Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point, he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. This video starts off on a zoomed in window, almost like they saw something and started recording for proof. The person keeps recording for a while and nothing happens. But then as they zoom out, something peeks out from behind the bars on the right side of the window. If you look closely, you can almost see the outline of a head and possibly some facial features as it presses against the glass. The apparition appears to be tilting its head to the right, almost as if it's regarding the camera with curiosity. Let me know if you see it and if it looks vaguely human to you or not. A group of friends are roaming around an old English house that's rumored to be quite haunted. Unlike most of the other videos on this list, they are able to get upstairs and quickly start opening every door they can find. Then they come across one door in particular that they swear they've already opened before. Oi, what the f swear that door's open. That door's actually hands open it, it's all usual. I studied this video for a while, and I can say that this door was definitely open before. When they open the door here at 11 minutes 27 seconds, you can see a circuit box with a yellow sticker in the bottom corner of the room. You can briefly see the same circuit box here at 8 minutes 14 seconds. This means that the door was definitely open just 3 minutes earlier. They aren't sure what to make of this discovery and decide to run away. Maybe they were faking surprise. Or maybe one of the friends closed the door as a prank, but something tells me that this was probably paranormal. Let me know if you agree. Have you ever felt like someone was watching you while you slept? The truth is, they might be. A couple in Bucktown, Chicago discovered an intruder had crept into their home to take their valuables and to watch them creepily as they snoozed on the sofa. 
He was captured on a security camera gazing at the couple, Jordan and Jack, from the upstairs balcony while they slept below on their couch during a Netflix binge. It was only when Jack said to his girlfriend, why are you at the top of the stairs wearing a white hoodie before we went to bed? And she answered, I wasn't at the top of the stairs, that the pair started to freak out. The intruder stood over them, watching for nearly five minutes the first go around. Then he went back to snooping through the couple's things, only to return and gaze at them for another five minutes. The intruder is believed to have burglarized other neighborhood homes. He managed to get into the house through their bedroom balcony door, which they left open. In fact, he was so light on his feet that the couple's dogs didn't even budge. They slept the whole while at their owner's feet. What valuables did he take? As it turns out, only Jordan's purse. In fact, this was the reason the couple watched the surveillance video in the first place. They'd gotten into an argument about where Jordan had left the purse. Jack suggested she'd forgotten it at the restaurant they'd gone to the previous night. Jordan insisted she'd brought it home. Moral of the story, binge watching Netflix is more unsafe than you'd think. Alex Miner pops off the top of his dark web mystery box and receives a handwritten warning. To paraphrase, it says that life is a dirty mystery and you never know what you are touching. As for the weird drawing beneath it, your guess is as good as mine. Alex finds an old compact disc and quietly sets it aside. Then he finds this weird leaky bag full of white powder. If you have any idea what this is, let me know. The next object almost certainly confirms my suspicions. Covered in the mysterious white powder is this weird tool marked Biohazard. Biohazard. Can anybody tell me what this is? Later, when Alex plays the CD, this is what he hears. Listen to this and tell me if you can hear a voice say something like, I see you. And leave me a best guess as to what this all means. A group of forest rangers set up a camera at the Platte River State Fish Hatchery in Michigan to live stream a nest of baby bald eagles mature. They were never intending to accidentally capture a second, much larger creature instead during the live feed. A giant humanoid figure covered in what appears to be black fur prowls around the forest floor below. It doesn't look like any other native forest animal, as it clearly stands upright and swings its arms while walking. Maybe it's a person in a full body suit, or maybe it's an actual Bigfoot. Then again, since numerous other Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the state over the years, it could very well be legit. This live interview was taken somewhere in South America. Only when the footage was later zoomed in and enhanced were they able to discover something strange in the background. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización del. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización. What looks to be some sort of extraterrestrial creature with arms that are as long as its legs can be seen casually walking towards them. Its motives are unknown, but it does not appear to be alarmed or threatening. If this isn't CGI, then this is certainly a once in a lifetime occurrence captured live. Epoch Paranormal is the YouTube channel of paranormal investigator Joseph Sturgill. A veteran of the YouTube paranormal community, he started uploading in late 2009. During his investigation of West Virginia Penitentiary, Sturgill managed to capture a terrifying piece of evidence. In the short video, Sturgill explains he had a constant feeling something was behind him. Even though nothing was, it was during a joint investigation, but he says it wasn't any of the other investigators he felt. 
During the walkthrough and prior to the incident, Sergil documents some disturbing graffiti on the wall in one of the cells. While the messages were clearly made long after the prison was shut down, and rather recent judging by the good condition, the words still send shivers up one's spine. Sweet lips lie wife, mine three feet under the kicker reads one, accompanied by three stick figures. Two are laying on the ground labeled Josh and Alex, while the third, positioned in the middle, is hanging from the ceiling labeled Dave. Below these is written, I'll be back, clearly referencing the hauntings occurring in the building. While it is likely the names written on there are the actual perpetrators of the graffiti and is likely a simple sick joke, it does enhance the chilling atmosphere of the location. Another creepy message in a different cell reads, doing time is a blessing unless you're sick as a dog and do some confessing. With a rather impressive skull drawing above it, it's enough to make you wonder what drives people to write such messages. Writings on the wall aside, the main feature of the video happens just after the three minute mark. Sturgill turns around to face the way he just came and spots what appears to be a tall figure standing in the doorway. It looked like there was a person there. He even comments about it and it looks as if whatever was there moves to the left of the door frame out of sight. While it is hard to see, the apparition has distinguishable features, including visible arms and legs, while its head is obscured by the top of the frame. Sturgill briefly focuses back on the cell he is in front of before turning the camera back towards the end of the hall. When he pans back, the figure is gone, and the doorway looks unlike what it did before. Nothing looks obscured, and his light goes right through this time. Could this be what was following him the entire time? In any haunted location, it is difficult to determine the type of ghost one could be dealing with. Is it friendly, malevolent, neutral, scared? In a prison, the motivations of those left behind can be even more difficult. Imagine all the different personalities who resided there when it was open. Thieves, life takers, petty crooks, innocent as well as guilty. Thankfully for Sturgill, it appears on this occasion whatever was following him was nothing more than curious as to who is visiting the prison. Hopefully all future guests only experience the same entity and not something more vicious. This dash cam footage was taken from the Garland City Police Department. A police officer is chasing a car at high speeds when things suddenly go off-road. The car has turned into a dead end and is coming up on a chain-link fence. It looks like the chase is over, but then this happens. A fence at the end means no way out, or does it? The car appears to have escaped through a solid chain-link fence with no gate or any other type of opening to pass through. Every officer who has reviewed this footage has been completely baffled and no explanation has ever been given. You can tell by the angle of the car's brake lights that it was driving straight the whole time and did not swerve around the fence. Somehow there's no signs of damage to the fence. It looks completely untouched. November 21st, 2016, a giant fireball shot over Port Charlotte, Florida and landed in an undisclosed location. This event was caught on multiple dash cams. As the footage shows, the huge streak of light hits the earth at a high rate of speed and fills a large portion of the sky with a metallic blue color. There has been no official explanation, but everything from a radiation laced meteorite to a failed EMP has been proposed. What I find strangest of all is that no damage was reported. Look at the footage closely. Most people agree that this was a meteorite, but what do you think this was, and what could have caused it? Hannah Forcier suspects something horrifying is in her attic after numerous strange events leave her afraid. She once took a creepy photograph through a crack in her attic and saw this eerie figure looking back at her, its pale brow barely visible. She's not sure if she's seeing things or not, but I can tell her that if this isn't a photoshop, then I definitely see the mysterious figure too. 
Ever since then, she's been trying to get a grip on this scary, unsolved mystery. She calls maintenance to inspect the attic for any signs of an intruder. Would it be safe for a person to walk up there? Uh, no. No. His reaction is not as scared as hers, and he says there's not much of a chance of anybody going up there. But judging from the scary knocking sounds that come from that area, I'd say he appears to be wrong. The unsolved mystery gets even scarier from there. Later, when they go upstairs to check, they find an empty can at the entrance of the attic. I mean, it is within arm's reach, so they totally could have planted that there themselves and then had a scared reaction. If not, then apparently somebody's been doing a little sipping while snooping. With that in mind, does it sound like the maintenance man is a little shady when she asked if anyone's been up there? Would it be safe for a person to walk up there? Uh, no. no. Nevertheless, let's hope they find whoever's been up there. An Xbox Kinect is probably the last thing that you would ever expect to use to capture a ghost, but that's what Keith Weldon apparently did on his channel called Weldon Paranormal. This ghost hunter received a call to investigate paranormal activity at an antique store in Rockland, California, so he packed up his equipment and headed over. The owner of this shop believed that a spirit was attached to an antique piece of furniture. To find the ghost, they used a Kinect camera that's hooked up to a laptop using special ghost hunting software. The software uses the Kinect's motion sensing capabilities to detect and map out any invisible forms in the room. Nothing is happening at first, so after a while, they decide to play old music that's from the same time period as the haunted furniture. Sure enough, they capture a ghost apparently dancing behind them. It has that figure over there and it looks like it's dancing again. <laughs> Do you like the music? Like literally like got rhythm and like... Oh yeah. When they turn the music off, they try to interact with the ghost some more. She's shying away. <gasps> yeah! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> <gasps> just her. She's holding, her holding your hand. I know. If this footage is real, then it could be the first time a true human-to-ghost interaction has ever been recorded. I don't understand the technology behind this equipment, so I can't say if it's real or fake, but if you're a ghost hunting expert and can verify this footage, then please let me know. The Menger Hotel in San Antonio, Texas claims to be one of the most haunted areas in the entire state, and there are plenty of videos to back up this statement. One of these videos involves a brother and sister who both suddenly get a strange feeling from the building and decide to start recording. They are exploring a very small and cramped area of the hotel. As they are discussing the possibility out loud, the woman suddenly announces that she is extremely uncomfortable. You can't see it very well at first, but soon the camera zooms in and reveals three deep scratches along the woman's bare shoulder. They look fresh and sting badly. She says that she was simply sitting on the steps for just one moment and the jagged marks appeared as soon as she stood up. Judging from this video, it looks as though she may have been literally cut by an angry ghost. This tunnel in Blue Ash, Ohio is steeped in local lore, and none of it is good. Apparently, a cult once used this maze of sewer passages to hold all sorts of rituals and sacrifices. This makes a YouTuber named The Fam want to explore the area with his friends, though now I'm sure he wishes he hadn't. Everything starts out fine at first, but soon the fam claims to feel more and more sick as he draws closer to the infamous altar room, which is where most of the sacrifices were supposedly made. Something makes him have a panic attack, and he claims to have felt ill for a long time after making this video. It's impossible to tell if he really is being affected by spirits, or if he simply contracts a sickness from being in the sewer, or if it's his nerves getting the better of him. I'll let you decide for yourself. Here's a clip of him at the beginning of the video. Alright guys, I'm gonna keep on going. I gotta see if we can find this altar room. I'm not looking forward to finding it really. Feeling normal. 
and here's his reaction after discovering the sacrificial altar room. I'm having a panic attack. Yeah. <coughs> I did a couple minutes ago. Do you think he really is getting sick from being in the presence of pure evil? On February 3rd, 2020, a bizarre video was posted on Twitter showing some strange activity caused by mysterious things in the sky, weird lines like some kind of wavelengths projecting outwards. A Twitter user posted the mysterious video because he says it needs explaining. He says this is electromagnetic interference of some kind, but has no idea what it could be from. If this is a result of EMF radiation, then the source is giving off a giant amount and must be large itself in return. Tell me if you think you know what's happening here, because it's been over a year and the mysterious event he caught on video still cannot be explained. May 17th, 2006 at 8.12pm. The Monterey Witch of Mexico was caught on video flying just above the Mexican hills. She glides above the ground, just as you would imagine a witch to fly through the air, floating through the sky serenely. There's a good several yards between her and the hills below, with plenty of blue between. After the clear view of her dark shape against the skyline, her profile is shown as a white speck against the green hills as she skates across a canyon. The video goes on for a good two minutes, and it doesn't appear to be a hoax as the being traverses the cliffs. The figure is tall and cylindrical, flying across a very windy canyon, which makes some UFO researchers believe that it can't be normal. It must be paranormal. Diana Perla Chapa, a UFO group leader and researcher, from Monterey and a popular Mexican TV host and UFO investigator confirms this. Experts say that there is no way something could move so steadily because it's a very windy canyon, she said. Speaking at the Mutual UFO Network of Los Angeles conference, The Three Haunted Explorers is the name of a paranormal YouTube channel that doesn't need to go exploring very far to find something spooky. That's because a scary ghost is already haunting their room, or so they claim, and this is the best paranormal evidence they've caught on camera so far. They set up a night vision camera. Soon they've caught the ghost moving stuff like cabinet drawers. Part of the drawers aren't shown, so the ghost hunters might be moving it off camera. But just when I was starting to doubt whether this scary video was real, more objects begin moving on their own. On a table behind them, caught on camera is the reflection of a possible ghost moving across the surface. They put everything back in place and wait. That's when the ghost knocks all of the objects over once again by moving a chair. The swivel chair continues to move on its own as if a ghost is pushing it. At 33 seconds, a mysterious shadow even walks in front of the camera. A ghost. The paranormal explorers would later say, although it could have belonged to them. Stuff keeps falling over by itself, which is creepy, but they could be crawling across the floor to fake the paranormal activity. I hope they make more creepy follow-up videos from a better angle to show us more of the room when it happens. This soccer match appears to be interrupted by a creature from another dimension. One team is about to go for a penalty kick when a strange white figure literally runs through everyone in the crowd without slowing down. I heard that this kind of effect could be a camera malfunction, but since everyone on the field is standing still, then I don't understand how this kind of glitch can happen. If someone has an explanation for this situation, then please let me know, because this definitely looks like it could be some sort of transparent creature to me. A YouTuber named Alien6467 and a friend are heading down a long stretch of country road in Southwood, New York, when an abandoned White House on the side of the road catches their attention. Something feels odd about this house, so they decide to get out and start exploring. The first thing the two of them notice is a room with hashtag vengeance scrawled across the wall in big green letters. 
Under this word are dozens of bags that inexplainably contain only a single coin. After a bit of searching, they find a loose floor panel nearby and start pulling out more Ziploc bags containing single coins. The strange feeling gets even stronger after this discovery and they decide to leave. When filming the house for one last time, they see that they are no longer alone, nor were they ever to begin with. A mysterious black silhouette watches them from above without sound, but I guess it could just be a prank. I mean, they were just inside of that room. So maybe Alien 6467 went up there again and pretended to be a ghost for the final shot. Then again, it could even have been somebody who was squatting in the house. The coins might have been a calling card, each one representing a previous victim. When a scary video isn't self-explanatory, it's time to break out some armchair detective work. But even if you're Sherlock or Enola Holmes, you'll have a tough time connecting the dots of this video. Published to YouTube in March of 2012, Ghosts Are Real 66 writes, been taking video of local cemeteries for a while and examining them from frame to frame. Found the image of what looks like a ghost of a young boy from around the early 1900s by the way he is dressed. The video was taken at Kinder Cemetery, established in 1902. While scanning some tombstones at a distance, a distinct flash is caught on camera. While zooming in, you can make out a figure, although you can't really distinguish its dress. YouTuber Mainly Mainly says that he's wearing suspenders and a white shirt, but that's up for interpretation. Some think it's a reflection in a car window, others are sure it's the paranormal, and I'm leaning towards the latter. This video was recorded years ago, when former President Obama visited Kenya. Something clearly flies across the screen from left to right, as Obama is busy shaking hands with state officials. The unidentified object is grey and transparent, and it appears to have a large head and a much smaller torso-like body. Since many people believe that Kenya is home to a lot of spirits, they suspect this to be a paranormal encounter recorded live. Critics have pointed out that the alleged spirit could merely be a plastic bag or even a boom mic, which is an overhead recording mic that newscasters often use while covering live events. It does seem strange how no one else seems to notice the alleged spirit as it moves by, but then again, we are only seeing a small portion of the crowd, and they are mostly focused on Obama. If there were a wider shot, then we would be able to get more people's reactions. It would only take one frightened looking person to add more legitimacy to this video. That guy Aaron has a hundred dollars to blow, so he orders a deep web mystery box to see what he can find. Inside the box is a type note suggesting that he made a mistake ordering this box, and things get weirder from there. Aaron slowly begins pulling out items that, when put together, recreate the scene of a horrible atrocity. Duct tape, surgical gloves, zip tie cuffs, and an old hand turned screw that people would use instead of an electric drill are all found inside. Then there's this quick old video clip of a female stranger. Something about this short video feels very dark and sinister. Could the girl seen here also be the same person who these instruments were later used on? I guess that staging all of this would not be that hard. This video was taken from a live stream in someone's car. Two friends are singing a popular song by Adele together and just goofing off one night while aimlessly driving. I can't play the clip with sound because the song is copyrighted, but pay attention to the baby seed in the back. It starts out obviously empty, as you can see here in the beginning. However, sometime during their singing, something slowly materializes behind them. Let me know if you can see a ghost child at this point. Lying. 
By the time they finally notice, you can already vaguely see the baby's mouth and other facial features. They are absolutely stunned and quickly turn off the stream without saying another word. I have no possible explanation for this video besides maybe the shadows playing tricks on them. Still, that's a strange coincidence that begs for a further investigation. This video was streamed live during the 2014 tsunami in Japan. While this man records the rushing waters wash away his neighborhood, he sees what could be a strange creature briefly climb a building and disappear. Watch again in slow motion and tell me if you see the white creature. I personally think that it could just be a wave, but I'm not sure. Look closely and you'll see how the wave suddenly seems to change course in midair and go onto a roof instead. I know that tsunamis have a tremendous amount of force, so maybe this is just what happens when a strong wave hits. On the other hand, the person who recorded this video swears that it was a well camouflaged creature. I'd like to know if you think he is right. A YouTuber named Ferris Wheeler is exploring an abandoned house with a friend. The first thing they notice is that the house is covered in flies and that all of the main doors are locked. After poking around some more, they come across the remains of a poor cat who must have gotten trapped inside. It's a depressing scene and definitely not the exciting find that they were hoping for so they decide to leave. On the way out, however, they unintentionally record something watching them from the shadows. <laughs> According to Ferris Wheeler, this is the ghost of a child. If you look closely, you can see a short, motionless figure with its face covered by long hair. Then again, this looks like it could be some sort of debris or even a waste basket. Let me know what you think it is. Afraid of heights? Look away or this one might get you. The video illustrates the day to day of those who climb tall towers to work on the antennas and transmission lines of the world's tallest skyscrapers. Imagine starting out your workday with a fierce climb. The clip from the tower climber's point of view shows the climb up a 1,768 foot tower, and it's a rough one. Don't worry, there's an elevator up to the 1,600 foot point. Still, the rest of the upward ascent is nothing short of daunting. 168 feet of climbing up a ladder, carrying a 30 pound tool bag, which hangs via a rope below you. With this frightening view all around, no thanks. At the top of the tower, the climber is no longer surrounded by the metal structure. Now he's free climbing up small rungs with nothing surrounding him, should he lose his footing. I suppose this is what gives us goosebumps with these types of clips. With one wrong step, one wrong move, a stroke of bad luck, or the wrath of nature, the climber is moments away from a long fall. Dark Ghost is a Russian paranormal investigator sharing his story on YouTube since May 2017. He has traveled to some of the most terrifying locations in Russia to document evidence of ghosts and other bizarre phenomena. By popular request, he returned to a home he had previously investigated and had gotten a lot of response from whatever was living there. According to legend, someone or multiple people are buried underneath. Immediately upon entering, there is still furniture in the house largely untouched, giving the impression the house was vacated rather quickly. The bed even remains done. It's not long after his arrival he receives his first sign he is not alone. Loud knocks from the living room behind him. He ventures to the kitchen to investigate where he is greeted by a door swinging open on its own. The 
The room the door leads to is full of junk and what appears to be a table and bed frame, but nobody is inside. Curiously, there is a trap door to the attic which he decides to later investigate. After setting up his equipment, he ventures back to the attic door to have a look inside. Furthermore, it's doubtful anyone is hiding up there as it's too cramped and the only way to open the trap door is from below. Nothing happens for quite some time until he is nearing the end of an experiment using a camera flash rapidly firing. After a final flash, a loud sliding noise is heard from under the bed, causing him to retreat. When he gathers the courage to return, he discovers evidence that a box under the bed was moved. As seen by the disturbance in the dust on the ground, moments after this discovery, he is startled by the same noise under the second bed to his left. He briefly retreats outside to compose himself and eventually returns to the living room. Once again, nothing happens for some time until he goes to retrieve another piece of equipment. Так, мне нужно сейчас будет EGF. As he ventures back to the kitchen, he is startled when the accordion on a side table suddenly goes off. He watches in shock as it continues to squeeze in and out, the haunting sound emanating from it. This almost proves too much and he rushes into the kitchen, closing the door behind him. However, whatever has been with him this entire time goes after him, and the door once again quickly opens, almost as if it has been kicked open. He kicks the door back to see if there's a response, and he gets one in the form of a door behind him rattling. Clearly terrified, he retreats outside. After some time, he explains he stayed away for about an hour before he returned inside. When he returns, he sets up a spirit box session, asking questions as a camera continuously takes photos of him. Despite asking questions for several minutes, it takes some time before he receives his first response. Yeah. Almost immediately after, he hears what appears to be shuffling or possibly whispering from beneath the bed next to him. <laughs> after asking if whatever is there can show itself, the wardrobe behind him opens on its own. without him noticing at first. After the spirit box replied, not enough strength, followed by, to pass away. When he asks what it meant, it replies, for you. Well, it seems to make sense the reply would be not enough strength in responding to its manifesting. Following up with to pass away and for you seems ominous and terrifying. Could the spirit be referring to its desire to take their lives? When he asks what it means, it replies, and you will see us. By now, Dark Ghost can hide the fear on his face, even from behind his face mask. His mannerisms are now that of anxiety. After several moments of silence, he asks if it is still there, only to receive an answer of ear-piercing electrical screams. At this point, he decides to end the investigation out of fear for his safety. Clearly, whatever remains there is unwelcoming and wants to be left alone. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.